Welcome to episode 4 of the Cookie Blast Podcast, the podcast where we talk about Dragon Ball Fighters and anything else fighting game related. I am your host, Subway Cookie, and in this episode, we'll be talking about pre-tournament jitters. But first things first, like last time, we've got a few announcements, and that is tomorrow, um, here in Western Australia, we've got the Pika Show Your Prowess Tournament. Um, so that's tomorrow, 1 p.m. at Skate Portal in Cannington. Uh, that's for Dragon Ball Fighters, Soul Calibur 6, and MKX. So if you play in any of those games, or any game at all, feel free to he- head on down uh, for the tournament. I'm sure it'll be lots and lots of fun. Um, I'll be there. I'll be playing Dragon Ball Fighters and MKX, even though I suck at MKX. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Um, and then two weeks after that, so on March 17, we will have uh, Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 5. Um, show your prowess tournament at the same time at also at escape portal in Cannington So head on down if you play those two games on any of those days either tomorrow or for on the March 17th We will have casuals as soon as um, Booths open open up. So if you want to come down have a play a few casuals feel free to come on down We don't bite and we'd love to have you so anyways back on topic. So today actually um, pre-tournament jitters is um, is a big thing it's a big thing for me, um, <laughs> and I'm sure everyone can relate to pre-tournament on even while uh, even tournament. I just, we'll just call them tournament jitters, all right? Pre-tournament, like even when you're, you're getting nervous before the tournament and also during, and, and it's a feeling that it's a feeling when you're so nervous and so stressed out about whether you do well at an upcoming tournament. And you know, every, and it, it's natural. It's normal. Now, whether it's because you're looking to get sponsored, you're hoping to beat a rival, to not drown in pools, because you've set a goal for yourself, or you've managed to make it to grand finals for the first time, or even because there might be a lot of people watching on stream. Regardless of the reason, it can be quite difficult to overcome these jitters, and it can affect your gameplay for the worse. And I know, (laughs) I know this, I know this for a fact. Um, so today I wanted to share a few things that you can do to overcome your pre-tournament jitters and share some of the things that I do personally. Um, for me, I, um, I suffer from anxiety and depression (laughs) and depression. I know I'm, I don't sound very depressed right now, but, um, it's something that I deal with and I know for, for people that are, um, struggling with tournament jitters, I know it's a, it's a, I took it a it re- it all relates trust me <laughs> it all relates um and these are some of the techniques that i use to overcome uh and any anxiety attacks or any bouts of depression that i have and i know that um sometimes it can be get it can get a bit anxious can get a bit depressing um during even before a tournament um so yeah and i hope i i hope this helps you guys out because it helps me out a lot and I know it will work for you. So one of the first things which people actually don't um, don't think of at first is to breathe. Remember to breathe. Long breaths in and long breaths out. And then you just repeat this. Okay, and this works. Okay, this works. And I, I encourage you to, tr- uh, to try it. Now when you're, get, when you're getting opened up, you're getting angry all right during during a fi- uh, during a match or during or even after a match and after getting bodied or even before right you, you um before a match just breathe um this works because when you're stressed or when you're anxious uh, your breathing tends to be more irregular and a lot more shallow so pause and breathe in and then breathe out um long breaths in and long breaths out um, this allows air to flow into your body, helps calm your nerves, reduce stress, and calm your anxiety. Now, breathing, on a, on, a, on a side note, breathing can also improve your attention span, which can help in a tournament setting, right? So if, um, as you know, our, our lives are lived um, 60 frames per second. So it's, it, attention span is it, it very important. So just try breathing. It, it helps. It helps you to not be um, shallow-minded when you're getting when you're getting angry, when you're getting flustered. 
no um or even you'll overcome your nerves so try it out try it out um yeah try it out <laughs> next is to warm up okay and this is this is quite important and i i know uh this is this is super important, okay? And it's one of the most easiest things that you can do to overcome your pre-tournament jitters. So what you do is you play a few casuals with a friend or with a random and have fun, okay? Your whole, your only focus is to have fun, all right? I don't care if you're there to beat a rival. I don't care if you're there to be number one. You play your casuals and you warm up. You're there to have fun, okay? It means not playing you know, like if it, even if it means you're not playing your actual character or your actual team then don't pick random it doesn't matter all right just get warm get the feel of the game okay and one of the best ways to overcome fear or nervousness or anxiety is simply by having the courage to just do it all right so casuals is the best way because you're playing the game you're just doing it but it also doesn't mean anything right uh, if you lose hey you're just having fun just focus on getting warm and not getting bodied right no just get warm if your opponent does some really cool uh, cool crap in casuals hey that's fine man just get warm just get warm don't focus on losing just get get in the zone pretty much and next uh, is to gain control of your thoughts. Now, this is a big one for me, um, as I said earlier, because I suffer from uh, depression and anxiety. And it's the biggest one that gets to me a lot is my thoughts. Now, I tend to find that I'm I'm my own, own worst enemy, um, both when I'm playing and when I'm about to play. You know, when I'm about to play, I tend to think of, oh, I'm not ready. I'm, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to overcome that or I haven't practiced that, or it's not 100%, um, it, um, it doesn't help as well that I'm a bit of a perfectionist um, when it comes to certain things. And um, it it tends to play with my mind a lot. So um, I, I what I tend to do um, is when I'm feeling that is to just stop and think. So if you're feeling anxious as well, stop and think, why are you getting anxious? What is, what is triggering this anxiety attack or this, this um, nervousness? Why are you nervous? Why are you um, so anxious about, about it? Now, is it because you're in loser's bracket and about to go 0-2 if you lose this round? Uh, is it because you're about to face a person that knocked you out last time and they bodied you free? Uh, is it because um, you don't know this matchup too well? You know, whatever the reason, I want you to stop and uh, stop those thoughts, okay? Those thoughts aren't important. They are not important. That, and that's the thing that, has to, that I have to get into my mind a lot as well. Um, it's not important. It seems like it is, you know, because you want to get, you want to win, you want to um, improve, but it's not important. Now, what is important? What is important is the here and the now. Okay. So let's say, let's use this as an example. Let's say you are, um, you're in losers bracket, and you're about to go zero and two if you lose this round, right? So, what you do is go to character select. Take that time breathe think now if these are the thoughts that are going through your mind if you're worrying worrying about going oh and two stop and think what happened in the last match why did you lose in the last ma uh, last last match was it because you were getting fuzzy was it because you weren't taking your dragon rushes was it because um was it because you were guessing wrong was it because you weren't hitting your anti airs? No. What? Think on the things that you can improve, right? If your opponent was doing a lot of super dashes and you weren't capitalizing on that, work on it. Capitalize it. Find the patterns. Those are the most important things to think on, right? Because when you're thinking on that, 
Now, though it may make you a bit anxious, it may make you a bit, uh, I'm not really good at that, you know. Direct your thoughts to things that are more important and will help you focus on the task at hand, right? And if you lose, hey, you lose. And you're, what's most important is you're there at the tournament to have fun. And that's all that matters, okay? So when you're there at the tournament, you know, if you don't meet your goal, if you don't beat that person, and if you do go 0-2, that's perfectly fine. No, that's perfectly fine. It's not the end of the world. There's always another tournament. And that's the other thing. Um, when, you, when you're playing in tournament, you always got to remember, there's always another tournament. There's always going to be another, another tournament. Um, even if it's a big deal, like even if you've gone to come from another part of the country or to even to another country, just think. Um, you're there to have fun. You're there to enjoy. And when you're being anxious, when you're being nervous, when you're being depressed about it, it's not. It's not enjoyable. <laughs> I know it's not an enjoyable feeling. So you gotta, you gotta get a hold of yourself. You gotta um, breathe, take that time, um, and just don't get stressed. You're there to have fun. All right. Um, tournaments are there for you. Um, yeah, you're you're there to have fun. Uh, I remember. I think it's from Daigo's book. Now, tournaments are there to showcase. Um, I'm paraphrasing, but it's there to showcase what you're what you've done, right? And you're not going to be able to be what 100% if you're beating yourself up. If you're too preoccupied at something else that doesn't matter, right? You know, if you if you lose this tournament, I'm not going to be able to pay for, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to pay for food for tomorrow, <laughs> something stupid like that, all right? Um, that's that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant right now. Um, your food is not going <laughs> to help you uh, to to win this tournament. What is going to help you win this tournament is get a hold of yourself, breathe, control those emotions, control um your thoughts and control your breathing um once you get that you know have have some fun have some casuals um play with some friends and if you lose you know what there's always casuals make the most of it now if there's someone there that beat you that person and, and they're not busy and be like hey um can we practice can we play a few matches and then practice with them ask them questions do um do everything that you can to make sure that you're not wasting that you haven't wasted your time. You know, if you're if you're worried about if that's one of the things that you were worried about, right? Especially with the going O and two, you know, you're worried about wasting your money to having that flight or um, wasting your time by taking the weekend off and you go O and two. Make the most of it. <laughs> make the most of the weekend. Don't sulk. Uh, don't get salty. I mean, salt is salt is fine. Salt. No, here's the other thing as well. With salt, um, it can be used for good, just like the actual thing. You know, it, chips by itself taste really bland, but if you put salt on it, it tastes a crap ton better. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking about food right now. <laughs> but no, like in all seriousness, though, let that salt guide you. <laughs> This is so meme quality right now, but <laughs> let that salt help you to not make that weekend a waste or even help that salt get you through the tournament, right? You didn't capitalize on some dudes, um, capitalize on anti airs. Make sure that you improve in the in later on in the tournament or you didn't tech your dragon rushes. Uh, look at all those things that you need to improve on and I promise you as you take it um, with a grain of salt, <laughs> as you take it with a grain of salt, I, I I promise you it'll be a lot easier and a lot better. You know, at as time progresses, you know, um, especially like especially with me, um, I can get in, I can get stuck in my head a lot. Um, a lot of the first, the, the sorry, the initial battle for me 
is getting the thoughts in the my thoughts controlled. Um, even now, actually, with the tournament tomorrow, um, I've had a lot of, um, I guess you could call it an anxiety attack. Um, it was getting, it was getting me low, getting me down, getting me very, very nervous. And one of the things that I started to do was, well, first, um, started thinking about my thoughts and getting a control on them and breathing. And now, you know, um, now I'm doing the podcast <laughs> straight after um, doing my anxiety attack, talking about the exact same topic <laughs> that I that I was dealing with. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's it it's something that it's not gonna um, it's gonna take some time. It's not gonna happen right away. Now, for some people, it might. No one just might breathe and then it goes away. Might have play a few casuals and then it goes away, right? But Sometimes it might take a little bit longer, and you know what? That's perfectly fine as well. Now you're not wasting your time. You're not, um, what's it? You're not wasting your money. Um, if you make the most of it, um, get to know a lot more people. Um, spend that time that you would have been using in tournament to play casuals, or if you're in a new place or a different country, explore the country. You know, it's um make the most of it, and that's that's all it is really. At the end of the day, um just have fun and make the most of the tournament, um and that's all it is. There's um it's not the end of the world. You're not gonna die. <laughs> You're not gonna die if you lose this tournament. There's always there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, and I, I know that's too, super cliche, but there's always a bright side. And always focus on the bright side. Don't focus on the negative. Because that's it's the negative. Um, it's when you focus on the negative. That's when you get the pre-tournament jitters. Or the tournament jitters. So just stop. Breathe. And control your thoughts. And I hope this helps. So um, if you're coming down tomorrow. Um, and you notice some guy. Someone is having a bit of issues. With, uh, with nervousness. Just say hi hey dude you want to play a few casuals um what game do you play or whatever or just talk or if you're the one and you don't want to be social sometimes i I get like that um when i when i have those attacks and i don't want to be social i just just play go into training mode um just get it out and get it out of your system while you can um and if you lose hey that's fine no someone's gotta lose Unfortunately, <laughs> someone's got to lose. Um, not everyone can win, but there, you can take that, take that salt and use it for the next one. And I, yeah, anyways, I, I don't, I'm kind of rambling on now, but thank you so much for tuning in um, to today's podcast. I know it's a bit shorter than the others, um, but yeah, make sure you come down tomorrow. Um, if you're here, if you're there tomorrow, um, rather, I guess today, because I'm... Um, I post this out on Sunday, but I'll be posting these out on Sunday, but I'm recording it on the Saturday evening. But if you're there um, today, <laughs> please say hi. Um, let me know that you're here because uh, Subway Cookie sent you. Uh, I'll probably be the dude in the Dragon Ball shirt. I'm, I'm totally just going to wear a Dragon Ball shirt. Um, so yeah, say hi. Um, and if you want to play casuals, we'll just play casuals. I'm, I'm down. Anyways, once again, thank you so much for crumbling this cookie with me. Uh, I'll probably be able to... Oh, I know. Oh, my gosh. I, I might... Tr- <laughs> I might talk about this topic at a later date again. Um, I kind of just want to get my thoughts out. So, hopefully, I'll be able to expand on it a little bit more. But hopefully, this helps. I know I've said this for the third time. Anyways, thank you so much for crumbling this cookie with me. Be sure to subscribe and tune into the next episode that we're baking up. And stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Or I'll see you at the tournament. Peace.